bag organizers, base shapers, bag liners. Which one do we actually need? Do we need all of them? Stick around and find out. everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. This video is long overdue. I get questions in my Instagram DMs about uh, bag shapers ba or bag liners or base shapers and which I prefer. And instead of answering everybody individually, and I usually do, I mean, I, I, at least as much as I can try, I try to give a very in-depth answer, but I thought I'd make a video about this and hopefully it'll help you guys out. If not now, maybe in the future, you can refer back to this video and just some of my tips about this sort of thing. So there's a difference between base shapers and bag organizers. So you've probably heard of base shapers if you've had um, tote bags and you have like a hard piece that goes in the bag that prevents the bag from sagging or losing its shape. So think about a Louis Vuitton Speedy bag or a tote bag uh, such as the Chanel Deauville tote but in fabric, uh, canvas, not leather. Um, think about those sort of bags that kind of will end up, if you put a lot of stuff inside, it'll end up looking like having a saggy bottom, okay? So for that, you'd want a base shaper. A bag organizer, you've also probably heard of those. Bag organizers are kind of made of like a felt type of material and they have loads of pockets and they're best for large bags that, you know, require organization, right? So, you know, otherwise if you put everything inside, it's all a mess and you're trying to look for things. And if you have it all nicely organized in these pockets, it makes things a lot easier. Some of these items have a dual purpose as well and that's what I wanted to get into. So in this video, I'm going to be going over bag organizers or some people call them bag liners and base shapers. There are two brands that I've shopped from before and I'm going to be featuring them in this video as well. So before I started YouTube, I shopped from a small business called M Boutique and they're based in Australia and that is where if you watched my wallet on chain review, I mentioned this little item that I got for it and it's called a walk shaper, okay? So I mentioned them in that video. So it's basically like a little piece of, I guess, vinyl on some board and it's made to the shape of the base of the walk. So basically you can stick it in, in here. So if it didn't have the base shaper, it will collapse and fold. And then if you put the base shaper inside, so I got the same color as the inside of my walk, which is maroon. If I stick it inside, what it does is it creates like some structure for the base, okay? While also expanding the base so I can put more things inside comfortably, okay? And this is actually a new walk because my walk was replaced. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll also link it here. But it basically creates a nice sturdy base for my walk so it doesn't get all wrinkly and, you know, disheveled looking and also creates this beautiful uh, expanded space where I can put items in comfortably because as you know, walks are quite limited in space so that expands the space for me. And I mentioned them in that video and I guess, I guess some of you had reached out to them. Maybe some of you mentioned where you heard of the uh, walk shaper so uh, somehow they found my video and they were like, oh, like you can see our walk shaper on uh, this YouTube channel. So I was like, okay, well, like, I mean, I, I didn't like, I didn't know, like I just, I bought stuff from them before, right? So I even bought a base shaper for my boy bag as well. But there is, so that's M Boutique. And then I, once I placed that order, this is like last year, I think, or two years ago, I wanted to have base shapers made for some of my other bags, but that's when the Australia fires had started. So there were already, you know, quite some issues and delays with shipping as it's understandable. And then COVID hit and so I, I just got kind of lazy, like I didn't bother sending that order in. I didn't do the measurements because these were going to be customized and it just, I could just, 
I just couldn't be bothered to like pull the bags out and, and measure them and I was just being lazy, okay? But um, I did finally do those measurements and I sent it in and then I got my order in. At the same time, I wanted to get a bag organizer for my, particularly the Chanel Deauville tote. So I really wanted to get an organizer, even though I have not used that bag yet, but I would love to use it. At some point, I want to be prepared. So <laughs> bag organizers or bag liners and base shapers have things in common and some of them are distinct, okay? So a base shaper will prevent you from having a saggy bottom. It'll also expand the space, such as in the wallet on chain. And it will uh, maintain structure, okay? A bag organizer is gonna maintain structure as well, but it's also gonna provide some organization and you can also transport the bag organizer from one bag to another so you don't have to keep switching in and out of bag. And that's if you uh, carry similar looking bags, okay? Also, you have all sorts of neat pockets to put items into. And then one of the main reasons why people do like to use a bag organizer is it protects the lining of the bag and it prevents it from getting dirty or soiled. So one of my uh, viewers, when I had done a uh, review of my Chanel Classic Flaps, I pulled out, or sorry, I think it was the Dior bag. I pulled out like a lip liner and she said, oh, you should really put a liner in there because one time my lipstick exploded. So I thought about it and I'm like, okay, maybe I should. I don't know, I haven't gotten a liner for that, but anyway, um, there's, there's specific purposes for each. Now, is one better than the other? Uh, probably not, it depends on the bag that you're looking at. So behind me, all here, I've got a few examples laid out, okay? And there are some examples where a base shaper is more suited, there are some examples where a bag organizer is more suitable, and then there are some examples where I would just put in both, okay? So let's get started. So what prompted my search for a bag organizer was when I got this bag, okay? So this is the large Chanel Deauville tote and it's in leather, okay, so it's in caviar leather. It's not in canvas and it being leather, it's gonna have way more structure than say a canvas tote bag, right? So you can see that they get quite saggy on the bottom. So if you have a canvas tote bag, then getting an organizer is a must. So when I uh, asked you guys, I asked you about organizers and what you recommend, and a lot of you recommended Zumani. I emailed them and I asked about availability and when they can get it in, and um, I mentioned, I was like, oh, would you like to collaborate? And they said, we would love to. So uh, they were nice enough to send me some organizers for my bags and I'm very, very thankful for that. So if you haven't seen the unboxing, I posted on my IGTV. So as I take took this out, you can see that this sort of kind of flops, okay? So I have the organizer in here. So this is in like a baby blue color. I didn't know what color to get, but this looks really, really good. So this has a like detachable zipper compartment because I mainly bought this for like travel, okay, even though we're not traveling, and I would want something in here that is able to close, okay, and then I can put like my scarf on top, so there's enough room on the top that I could lay something bulky like a blanket scarf or something like that and then I can have everything organized inside. The nice thing about this is that there are extra pockets, so there's pockets on you know, one side and in, in here I can put in like a water bottle, I can put in other more pertinent things and have everything, you know, organized and ready to go. I could put my toiletry pouch and everything. Again, I haven't used this, but this has served me well in terms of storage because leather is going to do its thing over time, okay? It's going to sag, so it's nice to have something like this inside and this can fit into other totes of similar size as well. I think this fits into my Longchamp, um, tote as well. So this is really great. So you do need some organization for a large bag, um, whether it's for work or whatnot. You can put your pens, you can put like notebooks, etc. And it'll keep everything organized instead of swimming around in your bag. For this as well, a tote bag, I highly recommend having a base shaper as well. Now, anything that has I guess like a single layer, like if I didn't have a base shaper, you can see how I can sort of like push into the bag, okay? And I know if I load this up, it's gonna sag over time. It is leather. So to help counteract that, I had this 
uh, I, I measured this actually. So this was, yeah, this was custom. I measured it from M Boutique. So they sent me um, this. I ordered it from them. And I, they asked me, okay, just send us the measurements. Measure the inside of the bags. Now, if you saw with the wallet on chain, it had those little flip ups. And for this, you can't really have that because it comes out in like a trapezoid shape. So this fits perfectly. I actually didn't even take it out of the plastic because I just kind of stored it in there to make sure that it fits. But I'm going to do that now. I can show you so that you can see what it looks like. So you can choose your color and all. Okay, And it's at the bottom of the bag, so it doesn't really matter. But it's like this. It's somewhat flexible, but it kind of gives you an added layer of just protection. Okay, So I mainly have that as just something to shape the base and prevent it from sagging or at least delay it from sagging over time so that's that's what i recommend to put in here as well as a bag organizer so another tote bag that i have this is actually from spring summer 2015 this is a chanel boy tote bag and it is very businessy really nice it's already got organization inside, okay? So I don't really need a bag organizer. It already has like a zip compartment and all that stuff. But I noticed that the bottom was kind of drooping a little bit, ever so slightly. I haven't used this bag a whole lot and I wanted something that would prevent this from sagging. So typically, if you look at say, a Chanel classic flap, particularly a double flap, the bottom, is quite hard okay so I'm not too concerned about the bottom of this really sagging so for this I don't really think you need a base shaper because it's quite sturdy on the bottom and that's the double layer of the, the leather where you don't really need more reinforcement but inside the bag um, you know if you wanted to put an organizer you could so for this bag this has not really that double layer of leather it's a single layer of leather with lining so for this i would have it reinforced now i had to have a custom base shaper made for this as well and this is why i was just so lazy to send measurements but i tried it out and uh, it worked so i just put the packaging in here i thought i'd just try it out before i filmed but this is the base shaper so i basically just took like a flexible measuring tape and i went inside and i just measured out and it's best to go a little smaller than necessary and this is what it looks like and this fits in perfectly okay so this helps with storage but i can also stuff the bag with other things so for this type of item where you have a base i would get the base shaper the way i measured was i just um, went inside this compartment here and I took my flexible measuring tape and I just measured as best as I could and they were able to create the shaper for me that I can put inside to counteract any potential sagginess. So that worked really well and that's something that's off my list of things to do. <laughs> so when I purchased the walk base shaper I was signed up to their um, email newsletter with and boutique and they had um, brought out a base shaper for the Chanel boy bag. Now boy bags are known to have a saggy bottom and also because this is a single layer of leather it's not as reinforced so it doesn't stay as boxy for a lot of people over time so if you know if you've seen older ones on the pre-loved market they're kind of sandwiched and smushed and I kind of picked up on that very early on and originally I ordered a bag organizer for this item so I ordered a bag organizer um, this is from another company and it took forever to get here which is kind of the reason why I went with Zumani for the other ones but again it's a beautiful color and I ordered a bag organizer first for this bag because I wanted to prevent the sag but really what I needed for this bag, because I didn't really need an organizer for the boy bag, okay? Like, I really didn't need any organization because it's so, it's it's not a very big bag. Like, I'm going to put my SLGs in. I don't really need anything to organize my bag. The reason why I bought that was to, you know, help preserve shape, really, okay? But in this case, when M Boutique came out with 
um, a base shaper, I ordered it right away because this is what I actually needed for this bag because it's a single layer of leather and I needed that reinforcement. So if you have a boy bag, do get yourself a base shaper from M Boutique. They have um, the sizes already, so you don't have to measure it. This is something that they have standard in their line. Um, what I, I think when I called, I, I did at that time recommend if they can make this taller. I don't know if they still can, but at the time, this is before I started this channel, I emailed them and I said I would, li I would have liked the shaper to go up a bit. But sometimes they might have a design in mind for a reason and maybe they did it this way. But then that would have just took care of this whole thing from sandwiching, right? Because you're not you're not really squeezing this when you're closing it, right? You need you need this to be reinforced too. So if you have a boy bag, order this. It'll prevent that sort of really unflattering saggy bottom and it doesn't take up too much space. It's no fuss. Whereas I think a bag organizer or liner is a little too much because when I put that in there, it left a little space for me to put my other things. So this is what you need for this sort of bag. So another bag where you're going to need both. So this is the Chanel reissue 227 size. This is the maxi size of the reissue line. I did a review of this bag as well. So if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. And in here, this is a double flap, okay? So there are two, it's a bag within a bag, just like the jumbo classic flap that I showed you. But the leather on the reissues is a bit thinner and it's lighter, it's lightweight. This is kind of why I really like this bag because it is lightweight, um, but, and it's more flexible. It's more flexible than say a caviar classic flap. So in here, I have ordered, not only a base shaper but also a bag organizer so let's do the base shaper first so in here the m boutique already had the measurements for this and this is i saw this advertised on their website so i was intrigued and they have the maroon color just like the inside because as you know with the reissue this is kind of the beauty of the reissue but some people don't like it okay is that you can fold the bag so I'm going to try to recreate so you've got actually like a, a fold in the bottom and then it pops in Oops. it pops in and you can like fold the bag okay and how you usually get it when you buy it is it's it's folded for you okay so it's folded in We've got this indentation and you can literally store the bag like that and you can wear it like that as well. Some people don't like the look of that though. And to counteract that folding, they'll put in a base shaper to keep that sort of uh, rectangular uh, base, okay? So in here, again, the way they design this is it doesn't have the little um, flip ups on the side and that's because of the design of the bag. So they didn't do that because I guess this is more triangular shaped when you come up so that it'll probably be a little bit more problematic. So this fits in there perfectly and it also gives you that added layer of protection. So it fits in perfectly. Okay, you can't even tell right that you have it in there. So it doesn't take up too much space and it protects the bottom, keeps it in its shape, you're good to go. You can stop there if you like. But for this particular bag, I do feel, especially in this size, I do feel that uh, an organizer is a must, okay? Because it's a thinner leather, and as leather's sitting with gravity, gravity's gonna do its thing, right? It's gonna kinda create sag in the leather. I don't know why I have tissue paper in here. I don't need it anymore. I used to stuff my bags with tissue paper. But this is flexible, okay? So these are, uh, the thing with the Zumani organizers, they're made out of premium felt. They're, they've got like two millimeters of felt and these are from Korea. So they have created these specifically for each style of bag that is out there. So they have like, I think over 350 designs and they're constantly updating their designs every week. This is what they do. And they're also able to custom make you a, an organizer as well if they don't have the bag listed on their site. And I guess that gives them some repertoire to work with as well. So they also test out the organizers with the bags as well, okay? 
And so because they already had this, I had asked for this as well and it fits in perfectly. I don't have to put any stuffing when I store the bag. It goes in there easily, no problem at all. I could probably put this in my maxi jumbo flap as well. I think I can. It might be a little bit smaller. But, you know, it doesn't take up that much space. Like, it really doesn't. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. It doesn't take up that much space. The benefit with this is you've got all these extra little compartments that you can slot, like, cards into, maybe a key fob, some receipts, and you're not really fiddling too much with the bag. So, is it overkill to have both? Maybe. For this bag, maybe. I mean, for the tote, you, you do need both, okay? It might be overkill, but the... You, you don't really, here's the thing with the liners, okay, or the bag organizers, is they protect the lining too. So if you had something explode in your bag, then it's not going to ruin the interior, especially if you've got like a fabric interior, you're going to get stains. And then also the inside, I find with classic flaps, they're kind of a softer calfskin leather, so you can really scratch it up. And although I don't keep things kind of loose, you know in the bag like I have little pouches and all that but this allows you to really downsize and you don't have to carry all those SLGs you can just kind of dump everything in without worrying about it nicking the inside of the bag so for that reason if you don't want to carry a whole bunch of SLGs and key holders and coin purses and all that because it can get kind of excessive with that as well then you can get yourself a little bag organizer and you can put everything inside and for that reason I think it's good because it protects the inside of your lining of the bag as well. So now for the trendy CC. So I did a, a, a pretty in-depth review of this bag on my channel and in that review I introduced and unboxed these organizers that Zumani has created for this bag so I these fit perfectly the ones that they have for this uh, small size model and there's two so there's one that goes in the center compartment and there's one that goes in the front compartment and they just got like you probably don't need organization for a bag that has organization okay but having the liner is that at first I thought okay it might be redundant but how how cool is this the the color is so spot on like this is coincidental coincidental okay you can never match color this well <laughs> but anyway um at first I thought wow was it really necessary but you know when you have the inside of this bag is all leather as well okay so you can scratch the inside so yes you can get away without getting an organizer for this particular trendy CC bag but having the organizer is kind of nice because it does protect the inside of the lining it doesn't take up too much space at first I thought maybe it does but actually no it kind of has these extra pockets inside so I can really slot in like key fobs and I can put in my card holder cash everything little bits and bobs and they're not swimming around in there so for that reason it might be a good idea to get one of these if you want to protect the inside of the, the lining. Uh, but what I was more concerned about with this bag is there is the center compartment, which this is lambskin, as all trendy CCs are. And it's, again, it's a double layer of leather because it's lined with leather, but I don't, I don't feel that same reinforcement as I do with the classic flaps. So I had asked and boutique to create a base shaper for this. This was customized, so they just did it in like a green color. It doesn't matter because it's on the bottom, you can't really see it. So they customized this, so I sent them the measurements of the trendy CC in the small size, and it fits. Okay, so they asked me, I'm like, they said, please test them out to see if they fit because then they can know for sure if the size is good. And I don't really need this to expand the base in any way because it's, it's already expanded right but I just didn't want the sag you know that could come with time okay so that fits in there perfectly and then if I give it a little squeeze doesn't squeeze as much okay um, one thing to keep in mind is if you have a bag that isn't leather lined so think about like the Chanel 19 okay that's an expensive bag but it's not lined in leather at all and some people like that some people don't that can get saggy so for a bag such as that 
do get a base shaper because it'll prevent that from losing that base, the shape of the base and it can, you know, when, it, when it's too smushed sometimes it can look a little sloppy. If you like that look that's fine, but if you don't, then get the base shaper and, and get an organizer as well to kind of keep the whole structure of the bag. So for this, you can get away with not getting the organizer, but I do recommend it because it prevents any scratching on the inside of the bag because, you know, it is a more delicate leather, okay? So yes, I would recommend, me personally, I would use both, but if you really wanted to skip out on one versus the other, then I would say get the base shaper. You probably don't need the organization for this bag. Lastly, so mini cocoa handle. When I was placing the order with um, M Boutique, they uh, first, because remember I had the Chanel 19 that I took back because I, so I bought a white Chanel 19, okay? I bought it and although it was lovely and you know, I'm not really into the 19, but I, I liked the white combination. But what really was a deal breaker for me was the strap kept sliding off. Okay, so long story sh short, I don't have that bag. I took it back right away. Literally the next day I took it back. So when I was in talks with M Boutique, I told them, oh, I just got a Chanel 19. And they said, oh, okay, we can create a base shaper for you. So when I placed the order, they said, okay, well, what about your 19? And I said, actually, I took that back and I got a mini cocoa handle and the iridescent white instead. So they said, you know what, we can probably do a base shaper for this. And I thought, I don't know if I need a base shaper for this. But because the cocoa handles are made of a softer caviar, so it's, it's more of a finer pebble cavi caviar, and it's fabric lined, they, you know, I, I thought, you know what, why not? Why not just have a base shaper for this? I don't need an organizer because there's already organization within the bag. Um, it's fabric lined, and because this is so, so small, I probably wouldn't put a felt organizer in, and the shape is a bit problematic too because it kind of comes out, right? So it's kind of hard to create an organizer for this. So it would have been redundant. I wouldn't need it for this, but I did create a base shaper. So I did measure it out. And in here, take the stuffing out, take the strap out. So there were two that I was able to measure out and they fit. So they kind of look like this. So there's one for the front pocket here and there's one for oops there's one for the back pocket I don't know if you can tell so that also is good because it prevents this bottom from sagging now when you get the cocoa handle or at least the mini cocoa handle at first what I find is that it's it's got kind of a rounded bottom already it's not as flat so I um, you know don't want that to sag further. So that's why I got a base shaper for this. So it does fit really well. There are loads of products on the market that help you preserve the shape and beauty of some of your more luxury handbags or non-luxury handbags. But at the same time, don't get so overwhelmed with preserving your bag that you don't even enjoy it, okay? So some things are like super ridiculous, like umbrellas and raincoats for bags. And you know, yes, they're all fine but at the end of the day it is just a bag so and we try to tell ourselves that i do i'm quite ocd with my items and i do want to you know make them look as new as possible but at the same time you want to be able to feel your bag you want to be able to use your bag so the suggestions that i made are quite reasonable this is what i'm personally using for my items and what i think is best as, as I said, sometimes having both a base shaper and a bag organizer is good. Sometimes having both is redundant and unnecessary. Hopefully you uh, get a feel for what sort of bags will require both and what bags don't require both. So I really want to thank Zumani. They were very generous to send me those bag organizers for my Chanel Deauville and my shall reissue as well as for my trendy cc and special thank you to m boutique for also providing a discount coupon code uh, for you guys to uh, order some of their base shapers so they were able to provide me with base shapers customized for my chanel boy tote uh, for my uh, coco handle uh, and also for my trendy cc and my reissue, the walk in the boy bag I already had before, so um, I already know the quality and I have already been using this their products, so I was looking to get more for my handbags. 
So I do have coupon codes for Zumani as well. I will put them in the description box below. Again, with the coupon codes, I don't earn anything, but it's just a way, you know, I asked him like, can we get some sort of discount here? <laughs> so it's nice when you order something and you get something off, okay? And it does add up. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We'd love to have you here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.